A very good example of uh, the work we're doing relates to trying to use greenhouse gases to feed uh, microorganisms and turn those greenhouse gases into fuels. So if you think about what we've been doing over the past 100 years, we've uh, used carbon as a one-off. What we're trying to do is use the same systems that capture carbon millions of years ago and turn it into oil, but we're trying to do that in big stainless steel reactors. The way it works is we take microbes, we engineer them so they can actually capture greenhouse gases and they turn it into biofuels so we can recycle carbon. So all of our research is in strong collaboration with industrial partners. Uh, pretty much all our projects will have uh, some sort of industry involvement uh, so we can make sure that our research gets translated. Instead of us solving what we think is important, what we're trying to do is ask industry what is the problem and can we help you solve that problem. Unfortunately, there's no plan B, right? So if we don't do something about the way we're treating our planet, our future is gonna be very short. So we really need to start thinking about how we make and use things a bit more sustainable. It's important to realize that the next 100 years, biology is gonna play a big role. And now Australia has an opportunity to become part of the bioeconomy and the biorevolution, but we really need to act now because otherwise other places in the world are investing very heavily on this. So it is a great time to be a systems biologist and a synthetic biologist and it's a very exciting time for Australia because there is a lot of opportunities to, to create new jobs, a new sector and uh, new, new products using biology.